Today we're going to talk about the most powerful trigger of epigenetics. Now, what is epigenetics? So epigenetics is those factors that are outside of your genes that affect your genes, that turn them on or turn them off. It's called expressed or silenced. So epigenetics are the controlling factor uh, for what diseases you're going to get, how long you're going to live, what's going to happen to your health. So it's not just about this predestined gene that you're going to have to live with because your genes are a certain way. There's a whole other aspect to this, and that's called epigenetics. So there are certain things that influence epigenetics. Your environment, medication, drugs, your diet, your age. So as you get older, you have more and more DNA damage. But realize all these work together. So you also have your diet. If your diet's really good, that can actually help slow this down. If you're taking too many drugs and chemicals, that can speed things up. Then you have the stress level of the person. That can affect your outcome. And then we have nutritional deficiencies, which is a huge factor that has the ability to mimic radiation as far as damage to your DNA. And exercise is also an epigenetic factor. But there's actually something even bigger and more powerful that can create a more dramatic effect. I don't know if you've ever heard of the term spontaneous remission, where someone has a disease and all of a sudden it just goes away, or they're HIV positive and then all of a sudden they're HIV negative, or they had a tumor and it shrank and just completely disappeared. And there's an interesting book, Mind Over Medicine by Lisa Rankin, MD, who talked about this. And I'm gonna put the link down below and actually on this page at the end, but it's a fascinating book about spontaneous remission and also the placebo effect and why that works in certain people and maybe not other people. Quite fascinating. And there's a uh, spontaneous remission project, which is a database of over 3,500 references, 300 journals, 20 different languages documenting case after case of unexplained spontaneous disease remission where someone had a disease, they had no treatment, and then it just disappeared. Fascinating. So we need to add another one on this list. So I'm gonna to have to put an eight right here. And this would be your thoughts, your beliefs, how much confidence you have on something, or your viewpoint, or your agreement on something. And this is why a lot of times if someone has cancer, they go to the doctor and he says, you have exactly four months to live and they die exactly at four months. So your mental state and your thoughts are by far superior to all of these right here. And this also explains why when someone's stressed, their outcome is not good. In fact, it's almost impossible to heal if you're in a stressed state. And of course, because thoughts are invisible, you can't measure it. People tend to downplay it, especially within the medical profession. But you should check out this uh, link that I put down below and also check out this book, quite fascinating. So anyway, I wanted to expand your viewpoint in epigenetics and check out this video on this page.